I have great respect for anyone who can wear one of these all day. It's more difficult saying that. You can't get a full breath. As a result of which, my homily will be shorter. <clears throat> and there was great rejoicing. Uh, if, if you go to the bulletin there for the second reading from that of St. Peter, you know that you should pay attention carefully when the Bible says, do not ignore this one fact. That means you should go, all right, something important is coming here. St. Peter tells us that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. And you say, all right, well, I, I can know that fact, but how exactly do I apply that? Uh, does this have any practical importance in my life? Uh, I don't know if you know this, but in physics, electrons going around uh, nuclei there, sometimes they go out of existence and come into existence. It's got to be important because that's what we're made of. However, practical application, most of our lives, who cares, right? This is not one of those facts. It's very important that we know that the Lord's time is not like our time. Because his next sentence is, the Lord is not going to delay his promise. He is going to be patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, so that that day, so that all should come to repentance. That's the important point. We need to come to repentance. To repent is to acknowledge what I've done wrong, but it really has a sense, in, in the biblical language, it has a sense of turning our face back to God. We have been going in the wrong direction, and God calls us, and we turn back to him. So we start going in a new direction. Uh, then he talks about everything, you know, this new heaven and this new earth. But again, now he says, since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of person ought you to be? Again, this is the difference between that goofy thing with the electrons and the knowing about God. This has practical import. What sort of person do I want to be on the day of the Lord? On the day's come, on the Lord's coming. Saint Peter tells us, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion. Holiness means that we are filled with God's Spirit, and so our lives are united to His. Devotion, Saint Francis de Sales, uh, he says, the secret to devotion is being always ready to respond yes to the Lord. So let's say that you're thinking, boy, it would be good if I read the Bible more. And you're at work, and that, that kind of inspiration comes to you, boy, I should read the Bible more. You can do one of two things. One, you can say, oh gosh, I have my Bibles at home, and I maybe I'll put it off, and I'll, I'll do it when I get home. Or, gee, maybe I even brought a Bible with me, but it's, I don't have enough time to read it. That is not devotion. And that leads us further away from God. If, when we get an urge to read the Bible, we say, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Maybe I don't have time to read the Bible right now. Does anybody have any of the Bible memorized? Everybody, raise your hand. 
Go ahead, raise your hand. Do you know the Our Father? We get that from the Bible. Who knew? All right? Um, spouses. During the day, God may encourage you to, to love your spouse more deeply. Gosh, I'm at work. They're at work. What can we do? Send a text. Just want to let you know I love you. All right? Um, or, you know, do the dishes for them. Hey, it could only help, right? I, I say that because I don't wash my dishes very often. It's <clears throat> so, what sort of person should you be conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion? In this next part, if you got a pen, underline this. Waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God. Waiting for, we understand, but what is this hastening? Can we hasten the day of God? And the answer is yes. Absolutely yes. When we turn away from our sins, or when we help other people not to fall into sin or to, to come out of sin, we are hastening the day of the Lord. And if we don't understand that that's possible, then we miss that opportunity. We are doing the opposite of hastening the day of the Lord. We're putting it off. I've got more to say, but if you get that point right there, we are waiting for and hastening. And we do that by living lives that are holy and devotion. You got it then. 